Hello, church. I was reading on somebody's Facebook wall here the other day, and they had this posting that said, I hear people say, I don't have to go to church to be a Christian. And they are absolutely right. Salvation is through faith in Christ alone. But you don't have to go home to be married, but stay away long enough and your relationship will be affected. <laughs> there is much truth to this, especially when you remember that the church is not a building. It's a gathering together of other followers of Jesus. This is the church when Christians gather together. It's the communion and the fellowship of the followers of Christ. And staying away from that community and not making it a central part of your life will have detrimental effects on your relationship with God. The Bible assumes relationship all the way through. That's why here at eFree, we make relationship the central value that we have here. Matthew 22, Jesus asks, or is asked, what's the greatest commandment? He says, the first and greatest commandment is this, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then he says, and the second is like it, as it, similar to, love your neighbor as yourself. And then he says, all the law and the prophets, the entirety of the Bible, hang on these two commandments. Relationship is central, relationship to God, and relationship to other people. Hebrews 10:24 says this, let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And then it says, and let us not neglect meeting together. That's how we motivate each other to love and good works, is we meet together. We can't just stay apart, we have to come together. And then in Romans 12, it says this, don't pretend to love each other, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good, love each other with genuine affection, and take delight in honoring each other. Spending time in relationship together, focused on honoring God, is the way that we grow, and it's essential to our spiritual growth. This is how we grow, by gathering as a church. And we do that regularly here on Sunday morning and Sunday evening. We have four services normally here. Coming to one of those helps us in that. But if you view us here online, getting together with others where you're at or in an online group is also helpful to that. In a 2018 article, so before the whole <laughs> pandemic uh, went out, uh, CNN did a poll of people and Americans gave 10 reasons why they go to church. Let me give you the top six. First was to become closer to God. Second, so their children would have a moral foundation. Third was to become a better person. And fourth was for comfort in times of trouble or sorrow. Fifth, they find sermons valuable. And sixth was to be part of the faith community. Now, outside of finding the sermons valuable, which you can gauge for yourself at eFree here, each one of those had to do with a relationship, a foundation of the relationship. But I love number one. That is awesome. It's to grow closer to God. Uh, James 4, 9 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And that's been a real challenge to me lately, just as I've been meditating on that. Part of the way that we draw close to God is that we get into fellowship with other believers. And I love what's happening here on Sundays. And I love what's happening here online as well. It's a way to connect with other believers like this. Now, if you're online only, you're going to have to find a different way to connect with other believers if you're not here in person. But that is possible. That's gathering as a church. So this weekend, we're calling it the family reunion. It's our kickoff. It's our launch. We're gathering together. Now, you can do this either online or in person, but in person is where all the fun is going to happen here. But if you're meeting with us online, make sure you gather other people together and watch this because we know how important relationship is to growing in our relationship with Jesus Christ. We have services here at 9, 11, and 6 this week. Normally, we have services at 9, 10, and 11. This week, we're adding food to the mix if you're going to come at 6 o'clock, make sure then you come a little earlier at 5 o'clock for the meal. It is going to be a great weekend. We look forward to spending time with you. So come on out, enjoy the time, 
and set yourself in a relationship with other believers and followers of Christ so that you can grow as he asks you to. Have a great week, church.